Nvidia has just announced a new supercomputer called the DGX GH200 AI. Now, this thing is absolutely insane. Has a whopping one exaflop with 144 terabytes GPUs that is powered for giant models powering generative AI. Now, if you're not familiar, ChatGPT, one of the most famous recent AI companies in the current world, utilizes NVIDIA GPUs. To my knowledge, they were basing off the A100s. Now, NVIDIA has released the H100s, and now they have this new supercomputer that is even more advanced. So let me show you behind the scene details what exactly is inside this thing. So here directly from Nvidia's website, the DGX GH200 has a massive shared memory space. And as you can see, they state it has nearly 500 times more memory than the previous generation, the Nvidia DGX A100, which was back in 2020. So literally less than two and a half or so years ago, and I was referencing that earlier when I mentioned ChatGPT and the A100. And you can see now 500 times more memory. Now, for people who might not be as technical or have no idea what exactly all these words and numbers mean, let's go ahead and actually take a look at their data sheet where you can see a comparison and bar charts to see exactly the levels it's above. Now here I am on the data sheet for the Nvidia Grace Hopper Super Chip. So now let's see some fun facts on how amazing this thing is. So right off the bat, new fourth generation Tensor Core performs faster matrix computations than ever before. And as you can see the H100, it is ability to deliver nine times faster AI training and up to 30 times faster AI inference compared to the prior GPU generations. So this is a significant jump. And also they have the MIG, which stands for Secure Multi-Instance GPU, partitions the GPU into isolated right size instances to maximize quality of service for smaller workloads. Now, all those numbers and words might sound confusing, but let's look at some bar graphs. So here we can see on the left, we have the A100 with the X86, and then now we can see the H100 comparison, and then we can see the Gray's Hopper. So if you don't know anything about the technical aspects behind this, we can clearly see the Gray's Hopper is the highest bar right there. And this is major, and this is such a recent upgrade in terms of advancements that I've seen at least recently in the last few years stating back in 2020 the A100 and now it's only 2023 at the time of filming and who knows maybe by the end of the year we could see another mega supercomputer who knows as of right now at least from the data I've seen and what I've researched it seems that as long as Nvidia continues to upgrade it's going to make it easier for people to build companies regarding AI. And who knows, someone could use these new upgraded supercomputers to create their own ChatGPT or a completely new AI company that we've never seen before. So here is a nice visual of the super chip and we can see here, 900 gigabytes per second on the coherent interface, which is seven times faster than their PCLE Gen 5. And they also have 30 times higher aggregate system memory bandwidth to GPU compared to the A100. So 30 times, I'm not sure if you understand this, but that is a massive, massive improvement. And some more fun facts, the GE200 is the first supercomputer to pair the Grace Hopper Super Chips with the NVIDIA NVLink Switch system. And essentially what this all means is it allows all GPUs in the DGX GH200 system to work together as one. And why that's major is because in the previous generation, it only provided for eight GPUs to be combined with the NVLink as one GPU without compromising performance. So the fact that they're already making 
major moves in the tech space. This is going to be huge for future AI companies out there, but now it's going to make it easier and faster for people to build their new upcoming and existing AI projects. And also, NVIDIA is building its own DGX GH200 based AI supercomputer that they're going to use to power the work of its research and development teams. Now, what they call this is Helios, and the supercomputer, it will feature four DGX GH200 systems. And these are all going to be interconnected with their NVIDIA Quantum 2 Infinity Band that is networking to supercharge data through output for training large AI models. And the crazy thing is it will include 1,025 Grace Hopper super chips and they expect this to be up by the end of the year. So again, NVIDIA is making crazy improvements to their technology and it seems as of right now in terms of the progression that is just only getting faster and better and it's literally weeks on weeks of improvements and next thing you know it in a couple weeks from now or even a few months we might see another computer chip whether it's nvidia or it's a competing company we don't know now according to them based off availability this is expected to be at the end of the year so as of right now at least for most of us we probably won't see too much of this being used out but maybe obviously the major tech giants out there the big boy companies are probably already testing if not we'll be testing stuff like this soon to improve their current infrastructure and it's crazy to think that this is already being created today just imagine one year from now when the AI levels up, who knows if we have a chat GPT 5, 6, or whatever AI comes out from then, and then and combine that with NVIDIA's whatever new supercomputer, super chip that they make by next year, is going to get even crazier. And this again is just the beginning. Now, all this stuff sounds amazing, but for the average person, most of these are outside of their budget. And typically, unless you are filthy rich, you might not be able to afford this. And as of right now, they showcase the top dogs in the space, such as the Google, Meta, and Microsoft are among the first people, or at least to say first companies, to gain access to the DGX GA200. And obviously they already are big in the AI tech space and adding this new supercomputer to their companies is just going to supercharge it even more. And next thing you know it, we're about to see some crazy innovations. But aside from that, do share your thoughts on this in the comments below and like and subscribe.